for you. You want to know why? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me why. Because every episode I watched, I'm like, I'm pretty good in that. But uh, <laughs> you know who, if I show this damn episode to anybody, they're going to give the Emmy to Michael McKeon. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're going to be up on the stage going, you know, the, the nominees are, and then my name, and then and the award goes to Michael McKeon. <laughs> like, how did he get in? I No, I, I'm joking, but telling the truth. Uh, I, I just couldn't see my own whatever work past his amazing... Uh, brilliance in this season. I think it's in episode seven, which is what I submitted, there's a really great scene at the end that it's so wonderful. Tom Schnauz wrote this episode, a great writer who came from Breaking Bad uh, staff as well. And um, it's this scene where um, Saul is, uh, Jimmy, is at the the insurance office where, you know, he gets... Um, his insurance for um, the, law, the law, legal, the lawyers. It, what is it called? Come on, uh, uh, help me. Insurance office for like, sorry. Yeah, um, malpractice. Okay. It's malpractice insurance. Actors don't need it, so it's very hard to call it up. Uh, um, what is malpractice insurance for actors? I guess a reality show. That's. <laughs> um, uh, so he's at the, the lawyer's or the uh, insurance office, and he's genuinely, what's so great about the scene is he, he genuinely cracks. Like he gets, he, he just can't win. It's, it's an episode where he's just getting beaten down, and it comes on the heels of numerous episodes where nothing is working for him. And each little scheme he has kind of falls apart or breaks in the wrong way. It rarely and works for him. It just, you know, the thing is that people always, people do come up to me and say, you know what's great about Saul? He's good at what he does. And it's like, well, no, he, he always seems like he's good at what he does. His plans, when you hear them, are like, yeah, that's, yeah, go, that's cool. Wow, he figured it out. And that's neat. Wow, a brain working now swiftly or whatever um and then it just there's always like you know uh collateral damage that he didn't plan on mo very often very close to him or on his own body <laughs> but anyway he's in the the insurance office he's genuinely breaking down because he's just had nothing but bad luck and he realizes somehow it comes to him that this emotional sharing that's inappropriate can be used to kind of be a weapon to kind of hurt his brother kind of just strike back and and it's just such a wild thing to play you know this genuine letting go that then becomes this plan and it's all takes place in the moment and God, it was just a wonderful thing to be offered as an actor. And you know, I, I, so I thought maybe that was uh, worthwhile to share with people. <laughs>